friends, it's me. And today we're checking out some very annoying things. Oh no, no, oh. Oh, you're brave. Oh, until it starts spilling, mine will spill immediately. You can't do that. You can't bring a mug into a car unless your cup holder can accommodate the girth of a mug. Everybody knows that. And you most definitely cannot go into your car with this much drink still in the cup. Like, sip most of it so it doesn't splash everywhere. It's not even my pants, but this pissed me off. Therefore, don't eat on your bed. Don't you just love when the mailman shoves a package that is just a little bit too small in your mailbox? It's like he can easily put it in like, oh, perfect fit. But that's because the whole back of the mailbox opens up. But when you try to take it out, no, no, no. Naughty box does not want to come out. Oh, and then when you get the cuts over here, oh, the worst. Any cut on your finger is the worst. Give me a bruise, a slice, anywhere else on my body. But hands, very unpleasant. That's incorrect. One number, just one off. It was so close. What sucks about math? It has to be the right answer. You can't even be one number off. Tragic. I was in the bathroom and this woman kept looking at me very weird. Hey, hey, Excuse somebody's me, in using, here. Miss, I'm using the bathroom. Bro, she Please stop. knock down the whole bathroom. Miss, I'm using the bathroom. IDK what to do. Hey, whatever you doing on the toilet, let it out. I don't care if you are mid-pee stream. I suck it back in, do a little wipey wipe, and get out of there as fast as I can. Like, I would be terrified. I don't know how you guys could just, like, sit there bottomless while somebody is at war with the bathroom stall. Man, I get anxiety when I'm in the bathroom and then somebody just, like, tries to open the door. You know, just to check if somebody's in there. Then I make it a point to, like, hurry up. I gotta hurry. There are people waiting. And I know what it's like to be waiting in line and the person in the bathroom taking this sweet old Time. POV, that one friend that can't walk straight. <laughs> I feel attacked, cause that's literally me. I don't know what it is, like I cannot walk in a straight line. It's always like it zigzags. Oh, I know where this originated from. When I was in elementary school, there was a sniper on the loose. And then every time my mom would drop me off, I would walk in zigzag. And I made it a habit, every time I'm in a public place, I would walk in a zigzag. So I don't get sniped in real life. I think that's logical. I mean, I'm still here. Great success. <laughs> Uh, just let me enjoy my flight, bruh. Oh, no! Ooh. Those are the crustiest airport feet I have ever seen. Oh, the way they just grab them. Oh, I got a little itch. You know, what do you do in this situation? If they actually got their dogs on your seat, you can just give it a good old... Like, they know they're not supposed to be there. That's why they shy. Or you can blow on them. Or if you're feeling adventurous, give them a little suck. Guaranteed, they never take their piggies out in public again. When you've successfully double dutch braided your hair, and then, oh, it looks so good. No, this always happens. Every time I do a braid, there's always a ugly little strand, a straggler that I forgot to braid in. What do you do? Do you just like tuck it back in? Cause that's what I do. Or then I take out my whole hair and decide I'm not doing braids today. When a piece of hair ruins your day. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun, the drink was so pretty. It's a bubble. Do not touch the bubble. <gasps> it just dissipated into the air. Was that fun? Was it fun destroying things that I love? <laughs> Bro, why do zip up jackets do this? This is why I'm not a fan. They always bend like this, making it look like you bricked up. Do you know what it's like to be a girl and look bricked up? But it's comforting to know that everybody else has this problem and it's not just me and hopefully people will understand that it's the zipper and not my imaginary glizzy. Huh? What do you want from Starbucks? Caramel Frappuccino, please. Okay. Bro, what the f***? Bro, chill the f*** out. Do you want whipped cream? Yeah. Okay. Babe, just... <gasps> the audacity of the passenger. I don't care who you are. You could be the mother of my children. My wife, my side piece, doesn't matter. You can't be slamming my door. It is very annoying. I feel like when you slam my car door, it hurts the car and it's my car. Therefore, it hurts me. You know, when you hit a curb, it's like, it hurts you. Or perhaps I have an unhealthy obsession with my car. Oh, like when this happens, you about to hit a curb. You can't do this. Every time there is a dip, you have to go diagonal. You cannot just go straight up into it. New mistake. Thank you so much for this. Um, it was entirely unhelpful. 
but thank you nevertheless. Hey, old people at the gym always be doing this. I don't know why. Can we talk about how entitled some old people are at the gym? Like, you'll be using a machine, and they're like, hey, get off now. He basically just kicked her off. Was like, okay, my turn now. A Karen at the gym did this to me. She was trying to use multiple machines at once, and she was like, okay, well, you gotta get off. It's my turn now. I'm like, bro, you in a rush? I got one more minute. She's like, no, I'm gonna wait here. I swear, they act like their time is running out. Gotta finish this workout now before it's too late. I am officially over public gyms. Dude, this happens every time. Hey! Bro, she was still using that! She just put it down for a set. And then as soon as she puts it down, yoink! Hey, you using this? You mind if I work in with you? Now, anytime somebody wants to share something with me at the gym, I say, no, 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 no. Get your greasy, sweaty paws off of it. You can use it when I'm done because I sanitize the frick out of everything I use. I don't know how clean the person sharing with me is. You know, we have a perfectly good outlet right here. Nope, just straight to the wall. Is the phone gonna charge faster? Is it gonna charge at all? I mean, I get it. Sometimes the plug won't go into the outlet and somebody got so annoyed that they just stabbed it into the wall. You know, I just had to feel it go inside something. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell uh oh. Man, what I hate these. I hate these. D rank toilet paper dispensers. These are the worst ones. The ones with a huge roll. And then when you try to like dig your hand up there, it has like spikes. You know, the part that rips the toilet paper. It's like sharp. And it's like half the time it's so difficult to pull out. Or it gets stuck. Or the roll is too round. I've had too many issues with these. One of the biggest ice cream hacks at Dairy Queen is if you love the shell, just ask for it in a cup and they have to pour a ton of it on there and it fills up the cup and you get so much extra chocolate shell. If you think about it, when the cone is dipped in there, it only coats the ice cream that's on the cone. Oh man, they were not stingy at all with this ice cream. You see how much they loaded it up? Usually it's hollow on the inside. And then pour the chocolate on top of it. No! What are you doing? You fool! You know what better than a chocolate coated cone? A chocolate covered cup. The plastic makes it extra crunchy. Some places will actually give you your cup sticky like this. Can't wait to eat my pancakes. And then just drop fork in the syrup. What's now? The awkward moment of deciding if you're gonna eat with nature's fork or wait patiently for the server to come over and give you another fork. Or you could be an animal and just pick the fork back up and just like suck the syrup off of it. Get it new. When the butter won't spread. Ugh, you have to wait for it to melt. Wait, why are you buttering untoasted bread? You gotta toast the bread first, right? I mean, even just a little bit, like warm it up a bit so that the butter can spread easier. You know, that's why we need like a stick of butter and just like smear it on. The cold butter versus knife versus bread, like it ain't it. I'm not having it. Let me tell you how my daughter threw all my credit cards out the window, including my access card. What the hell? Uh-oh. She's saying her kid took all her credit cards and just threw them out the window. Did you not buy her some Robux? She's like, what are all these cards? Where's the Robux? Don't have any? Useless. Banish to the shadow realm. Okay, we are making Christmas shaped eggs. Oh, it's not just eggs. We're putting pancake batter around the eggs. There's already egg white in the pan. That ain't gonna feed more than one six year old. It's not even cooking. Did this idiot forget to turn on the stove? Chocolate chips on eggs? Oh, I was like, you could avoid it, but no, no. Just straight up chocolate in the egg. Who's doing this DIY? You know, without even seeing who it is, I bet I know who it is. Oh, and then the pepper. Don't forget the pepper on the eggs. And I love spicy chocolate chip pancakes. Oh, and then the maple syrup. Yeah, don't forget to oops all over the egg. It's not even cooking. Bro, turn the stove on so I can see how horrible this is gonna end up. And then butter. Are you stupid? Is this the first time in the kitchen? <sighs> This whole thing was very painful to watch. You know, I've been making rainbow pancakes out of Play-Doh my whole entire life. And then the one day that I decide to cook, you know, I thought it'd be a great idea to just do this. Chocolate chip egg pancakes. Just a single chocolate chip egg pancake bone apple teeth. I'm gonna talk to the manager. Okay, one second. Hi, how can I help you? Hello friends, it's me. And today we're going Karen hunting. Whoever created Fortnite, whoever you are out there, I need you to know what you're doing to parents across the globe. It started out with Fortnite, you know it's gonna be good. The tragic story of a mother who has lost her child to Fortnite. Because your game has completely taken over and our children have become total addicts. I mean, it's not that good, but okay, go on. I know that it's my job to make sure I know how many hours a day he's playing and this, that, and the other thing. I get
get that. I'm monitoring. But this child is continuously coming to ask me for money to buy virtual products in your game. Wait till she hears about NFTs. <laughs> I don't want to see how much money you spent on Candy Crush. So you let him have his skins. Virtual skins, virtual jackets, virtual dance moves. These things that are not tangible that nobody's actually going to get. It's just some made up thing in a game. And then he says to me, well, mom, there's only 13 hours left or I'm not going to be able to buy this skin. I have to do it now. They're going to take it away. I won't be able to do it. No, tell him no. Am I really teaching a parent how to parent? Like literally you could tell your children. No, it's not hard. My parents did it all the time. I would never get a yes. It was either a no. No, or a maybe, or a wait until your birthday. Like, are you scared to tell a six-year-old who plays Fortnite no? And I said, you need to stop. We are done. We are not having this conversation. No, no nothing. You're not getting anything. And he said, looked at me and he said, he said what? It just it cut off like that. I need to know more. I mean, to be fair, Fortnite is free. We used to pay like $50, $60 per game. Fortnite is free. Get him a couple skins. No big deal. Or make him work for it. Do your chores. Get good grades for birthdays. It shouldn't be all the time. That's what I think. This guy is making food on the back of his truck and it looks delicious. Some lobster rolls. You're making me upset. Okay, I mean, well. You've got a lot of nerve doing this. This is this is illegal what you're doing. They're making food in the back of their truck. Karen's just mad because she can't get a lobster roll. I have everything. One minute to get okay. out of here. Or I'm you have one show. minute to okay, leave. Sounds good. Do you own the parking lot? No. You have one minute to leave. I'll throw this you're into not the trash can. Up. Pack it up. I'm Oh, Skeletor is getting angry. There's no, there's no need to be. They are so nice and polite about it too. We have some guys who are cooking. We're leaving. We're not bothering anybody. You're bothering me. You're bothering me because you're making better food than I ever have. Get the heck out of here. We're gonna get out of here. We're not bothering anybody. You're, you're coming up to us. And you're okay. It's a yeah. Sunday. Have a great hey, day. What are you doing? Whoa, sit. <gasps> you are. Oh my. Ooh, look at what she just did. Oh my goodness oh. gracious. What a piece of garbage. I would have chucked it with that. Rude. Nobody gets this mad on their Sunday stroll. It's a lobster. She got a shellfish allergy or something. Something offended her. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. <laughs> Like I'm hurt. He hurt me. Ran me over. Police. You're so dramatic. Did someone hurt your little baby feelings? That's my Anna Del. Or I'm gonna lay down in the middle of this highway. Speaking of fake falling, this Karen was trying to get a check so badly. She laid down in the middle of the road. You see what she just did? This car is reversing. And she just went by the front of the car and then fell like they hit her. Car hit human? No, 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 no. Human hits car. Like, look at her. Now she acted like her stomach hurt. Yeah, I am also sick of all the lies and deception. Bro, she fell down flat. Starfish on the floor. And then over one eye, I looked around, realized nobody was offering her money. Nobody even cared. So I'm gonna get up and try it again. You know what? Fall on my way to the car. And this car just keeps reversing. You can't hit somebody in front of you if you're literally reversing. I cannot even. <laughs> this, is, this is so funny. Like, she keep trying. Ma'am, you're gonna have to work like the rest of us. No easy money here. I need to get out of here. It doesn't work like that. It takes days. I want to talk to the manager. Okay, one second. Hi, how can I help you? <laughs> no problem. I just like that. It's just you. You came in here acting like you own the place. The correct way to reply when a Karen asks for the manager. Like, you want the manager? Let me get the manager. Hi, how can I help you? Oh, hello, it's me. I want to rent a yacht. Does it look like they have yachts? I see them all around there. We don't have any yachts for rent. I see them. Whose brats are they? They're personal so yachts. I guess you don't want to make no money here at this restaurant. I guess we don't. What? What the hell are you doing? You cannot record me. Uh, I just did. That is against my HIPAA law. That is against my HIPAA law. No, it's not. A HIPAA violation is if somebody asks you for your medical history. Like, hey, you're parked in handicap. Get out. But I have a disability. What is your disability? I don't see a disability on you. That's kind of a HIPAA violation. Has nothing to do with recording. An unsavory interaction between a Karen. She's, she's trying to buy a yacht. But they're like, we ain't got any yachts. But this is like a restaurant. Like, what kind of restaurant you buy boats from? Oh, that was aggressive. Oh my god. What are you doing? The way she just I'm gonna strangle you on her car. 
But if you touch Karen's car, you going straight to jail. She will put you under citizen's arrest. Are you taking this? Yeah, I'm making a video. Can you move? It's cold outside. Like, get off the way. Oh. Oh, we have another person that would like to get involved. He's saying, get out of here. She said, don't touch me. Stay six feet away. Get away from me. I am threatened by your existence. I do not come in peace. Oh my God. I, yeah, I'm taking a video. She really out here doing yoga in the middle of the road while cars honking at her like, mmm, namaste. Nah, I must stay in front of this car. You know, some people really woke up, took a sip of their coffee, it was like, I feel like being a bitch today. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I was looking for this. Stupid, run up. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> I got it. I <laughs> uh, no you didn't. I almost knocked you out. He got his blow up muscles on under that hoodie. Hold on, let me just. <laughs> Why is he so mad? Oh, got Karen. Oh, got a Karen. Karen's bro. coming to make a problem. <laughs> You can't catch me. <laughs> oh, good thing he can't run. <laughs> jump me, he said jump me. Hold on, stop, hold on. <laughs> he follows him out the store. He keeps going, but he can only shit, walk. Man. He can't help, run. Help, please help. Can we see how close we can get to him, like chicken? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All this armor weighing me down. Oh, he's chasing out the stage! He's chasing the <laughs> Oh, he's going! Oh my goodness, this would be so fun. Like somebody that refuses to run. We're gonna see how close we can get to him. He's so close and now he starts, starts going at it. I got a bad knee. But for you, I'm gonna do a little jog. <laughs> okay, but think about how much fun they had that day. <laughs> like they're kids. You're just gonna like beat them in the middle of the mall or something? Like what, what do you want? You're not wearing a mask on the plane. You don't have the right to say something is unsafe. Do you understand? No, ma'am, I, I don't understand. You can't make me. I'm not sitting here. Then get off the plane? I work hard. Okay. I pay for my seats. Okay. Which is clearly gonna put my life in danger. Okay, so you're gonna move him. That's how it's gonna be. Is she sitting in the exit row or something? What is so dangerous about the spot that she's sitting in? Then move him. Ma'am, this is a full flight. I can't move anyone. Do you want me to call the cops? Do you want to lose your job? She's not going to. And where are you going to call the cops? 911, what's your emergency? Hey, I'm on flight 42069. Um, the flight attendant won't move my seat. Hello? Because right now you're violating my rights as, as a citizen, as a human being. You're intentionally putting me in danger. I do not wish anyone to be in danger. Thank you, then move him, ma'am. Yeah. What's wrong, wrong with him? him. I, I, don't, I don't want to sit there. What is wrong with the guy? He's violating our rights and our safety. I asked him for his vaccine card and he doesn't have one because he's not vaccinated. I'm sorry, what? You have to have a mask and be vaccinated. Yeah, you have to have the, the, the mask. Where's the mask? I'm not wearing a mask. I'm not wearing a mask because I have asthma. That's no excuse. My friend got asthma. She still wears a mask. Who are you trying to fool? I have children. I'm fully vaccinated to protect them. You're intentionally putting my health at risk right now. Ma'am, I just work here. She's just a flight attendant. Do you want your Sprite and your salted peanuts or no? I know the law. You're breaking. You're violating the law right now. You're completely breaking the law. You have to find me another seat. Okay, you don't have to be vaccinated to go on an airplane. Is she gonna make a fuss about this when she goes to the grocery store? Where's your vaccine card? You can't make me breathe his oxygen because he's not vaccinated. Well, you're breathing the oxygen of everybody else on the plane and you're not even wearing a mask. Are you brain dead? I think so. Vaccinated or unvaccinated, we should respect each other. <laughs> and as it seems, you have trouble doing that. Please me. exit the aircraft. Oh, finally, the pilot comes on. Get out of here. This is the one time I will clap on a plane is when they kick a Karen off. Get her out of here. Spit on her on the way out. <laughs> Definitely not staged or anything. Video was about as fake as that fall. Oh no, you caught- I am in physical pain because you caught me. Pro Karen tactic. Fake- Not anymore. Next in line, I don't worry. How you doing, man? How Karens be when your card declines? Alright, just insert your card right there for me, please. Wow, 
<laughs> your card's declined. <laughs> yes, your card is declined. Keep it down, keep it down for me. No, your card is declined. I'm sorry. Your card. <laughs> you know, I'll say it louder for the people in the back. Let everybody know that my card declined. You know, my card declined today, and the lady was like so low key about it. I appreciated that because it's embarrassing. Like you try to check out, and you got the cashier like their card declined. Woo woo. Broke alert. Why are you buying Cheetos when you can't even pay your card? Let's tape the sticker of an AirPod on the stairs to see who would pick it up. Hey, everybody, they try to pick it up. So embarrassing when you realize it's a sticker. Oh, he took a picture of it. Oh, he making his own TikTok out of it. <laughs> I ain't picking up nothing that goes in somebody's ear. I got a bug. <laughs> I want to see the bug. What you got? Cockroach? You just fisted it? Impressive. <gasps> no! Don't do that to her. Don't do that to her! Don't do that to her! That is the worst way to wake up. This is grounds for a breakup. You see that face? Terrifying. Imagine waking up to it. <laughs> this has got to be one of my favorite pranks of all time. They tricked their little sister into thinking that she's invisible. Oh man, this is like a kid's oh. worst nightmare. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> this, this is a prank, right? Where'd she go? Oh. And they got the oh. whole family oh in gosh. on it. Oh my gosh. What did you do? Ava, where are you? Where'd she go? <laughs> Seriously, you around. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody's in on it. by herself and then showed her the proof and then that really did it for her <laughs> and then she starts having a mental breakdown like y'all really turned me invisible <laughs> uh this is necessary for character development growing up my family was so mean to my little sister and she came out hilarious <gasps> mannequin prank on the bathroom no 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 <laughs> I kick it. I literally Dude, scream. Dude, are you kidding me, man? <gasps> There's okay. a cane. Don't go. What's going on? I wanna try this. Putting fart spray in my girlfriend's mask to see how she reacts. Oh, that's nasty, bro. What the hell? Oh, fart spray? That's a lot! <laughs> that's a lot! You gonna knock somebody the out with that? The car smells like sweaty verga. <laughs> So they want the smell. What is going? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, you can't smack this smell off. Oh, I can't even imagine how disgusting fart spray smell. Oh, you know, on the top ten deadly things in this world, a stinky smell. That's on the scale. I cannot stand stinky smell. Uh uh. Scaring people at the clothes store. Oh my God, don't do it. I don't know how. <laughs> Push it back. Like, no, I don't want this. Go back to your hidey hole. I would've scared the bejeebus out of me. Like, I, like you just looking through the clothes and a head comes out. <laughs> I'll be screaming in the shirt section. Scaring my dad with a life-size cut out of the rock. That ain't gonna scare nobody. It's about drive. Oh! oh. Motherfucker! Oh. Stop it! Stop what? Not <laughs> funny. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a whole entire horse to be there. My soul just loved my body. It scared me more than him. And I got the whole protection of a screen. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. God damn it! I thought you were Embarrassing. When you think your friend is gonna walk through the door. Ah. Oh, I'm so sorry. And you give him a little spook. But it's a stranger. I will be leaving this building and not coming back. My husband doesn't know I came out to the car already. So she was hiding in the trunk. 
He gonna start the car. Oh man, one of my biggest fears. I always take my back seat when I get into my car. If somebody's like hiding behind there, like I'm terrified of being grabbed from behind while I'm driving. Ah! <laughs> For a second, it's just a stuffed animal. Oh, you finna give me heart palpitations. That for real though, my chest hurt. Is this the end? Here's your receipt. God damn it! Here's your receipt. Giving yeah. people an extra long Here's your receipt. receipt. Jeez. Here's your receipt, man. Uh, when they give receipt. me a receipt that long, I'm like, oh, I don't want it. <laughs> you killing trees receipt. is on you. That's in the Yeah, don't give it to me. Here's your receipt. I don't want this. Yeah. I don't want that either. Where am I gonna put that thing? Stuff another butt cheek in my pocket? This guy is an absolute menace to society. Took a sauce packet, put the straw in it, and then put it in the drink. Gave it to his friend. <laughs> a straw full of sweet and sour sauce. Nice. Uh, is this a prank? Because in the middle of this video, my computer decides to restart or update. What happened? Why are you updating right now? I was recording. I love these pranks. When they take a pair of panties, dip it into tuna fish. Oh, that's nasty. That's a lot. Oh, it's wet. And she gonna give it to her boyfriend. You have the nerve to do something like this. What are these? He's not gonna smell friend. it instantly. And be like, that's nasty. Yeah. Hey, aren't there other people in that room? You gonna do this in front of your friends? Mind your business. Do you wanna? The kids are busy. That's what I'm trying to get to. Question. Yeah. Um, are you alright? What are you talking about? I would have said, why your jaw stink? But no. Are you okay? He's so gentle and polite. I love you. Aww. With everything else. I love you too. So, can we go? No. I'm gonna have to respectfully turn you down. <laughs> why? He don't know how to say it. Just say it. Be stink. Nice, yeah. You're saying that I stink. I, your drawers are saying you stink. <laughs> I don't stink. Uh, you smell, smell these. Yeah, <laughs> smell these. And they fell to the floor. What do they smell like? A sea bar. <laughs> these smell like Ariel's Badussie. So he did a little shock prank in the McDonald's drive-thru. Hey, I would've closed the window. I'd be like, who is this guy? But how do you know all this information about me? These dudes are filming a prank and this goes way too far. So they're all in a van. They chase this dude down with a motorcycle. He parks and then goes into the gas station and they're all like, come on, get out, get out, get out the car. Get out the balloons. We got the balloon squad. I thought they were gonna rob the place or something, but no, watch this. They tie hundreds of balloons to the motorcycle. You go tell me it's gonna lift up. It's gonna lift up off the ground. Y'all did him dirty. <laughs> Wait, that's messed up. I'm trying to understand how balloons can lift up a motorcycle. I don't even think that's possible. So what kind of voodoo magic is this? My roommate left for the weekend, so I covered his room with post-it notes. Hey, that's a lot of post-it notes. Too many. I like that. It looks really good. How are you gonna be mad about that? You would never forget anything. You got so many post-it notes around your room. Like, anytime you need to remember something, just write it on the wall. Did him a favor. Yes, my suspicions are correct. There's a snake, not snack. Do not like it. When mom trims our dog, and we pretend her fluff is her. For a hot second, that scared me. I'm like, what was wrong with the dog? Is he okay? No, they just gave him a haircut. He's alive and well. Dad walks in like, go, go away, <gasps> go away, all of you, please go away, go away. What's wrong with the dog? Go away, all of you. What's happening? What's go going? away. Go away. Go. He thought the dog was dead. Why he limp like that? I don't think that's what happens when animals die. They just go flat, turn into a pile of fluff. Hey, excuse me. Um, is that a car parked outside? It's getting towed. Which one? The Honda? Yeah, the Honda. The blue Honda? Yeah, the blue Honda. It's outside, right? Are you serious? Yeah, you parked That's down there. Car. It was you, right? Yeah. Wait, really? Yo, we gotta go. <laughs> this dude walked up to them, didn't even know what car they were driving, and then she gave him all the answers that he needed. You know, in this situation, you're supposed to be like, what car? Which car do I have? That's getting towed. Hey! Do you know where the library is? Oh, that's the library? Talking oh, too sorry, loud with headphones on. Uh, 
Please don't yell at me. <laughs> I did guy. nothing wrong. <laughs> I get so scared when people yell at me. My eardrums are sensitive. Uh, in my time, I've probably blown out a few eardrums though. Engaged couple gets foiled. What do you mean? Oh, like literally. Foiled the entire kitchen. It actually looks kind of cool. Looks like it's from the future. It looks like Dr. Evil lives there. That is a lot of foil. The entire house just foiled. At least it's not spoiled. I use a lot of aluminum foil because I bake a lot of food. I would just get rid of it very slowly. Just every day I would tear a tiny bit of aluminum, put it on my baking sheet, bake my tilapia and vegetables. And I'm quite resourceful. I don't like waste and honestly it looks kind of cool. It's protecting the kitchen. It'll stay new and clean longer. Joke's on you. This dude is hiding with a bow and arrow. <gasps> oh, that was some good aim. Like you had one shot and he knew he had to make it as soon as she came home and a balloon filled with flour exploded on her. What if she had a gluten allergy? I would have just disintegrated into dust particles. My body wouldn't be able to handle the amount of gluten in this prank. Please take one prank. You okay in there? There's a person in there. There is a person in there. It looks just like the fakes. Oh, this is scary. Oh, he even said it's just a stuffed animal. Oh my God, stuffed guy. Michael Myers ain't no animal. I mean, he kind of is, but you know what I mean. Just take one. Oh, scared the dad more than the child. Sorry, bananas make me aggressive. And then this kid comes up. <gasps> Just one! I'm watching you! Oh man, I would love to do this, but my house, I get no trick-or-treaters. None. I she think it's bird poop. I would be screaming in filth if a bird had explosive diarrhea that landed on Oh, let me see that. Oh, I mean, wouldn't you smell it? Like, mayonnaise has a very distinct smell. Either way, gross. We put a lot of farming right here. Oh no! <laughs> So the game is, no. I have to clean up all the Barney before you hit my hands. So if I clean up all the Barney before you hit my hands, I win. What is he okay, saying? Because he's not saying time. water. Okay. I'm gonna hit you. Okay, ready, one. <laughs> Which one is good one? This one is. Okay, ready, one. <laughs> clean up. Right. She has to hit you. Okay. Hurry up and clean okay. it up. <laughs> wait, okay, wait. One, two, three. Oh. Ah! Oh, she's mad. She really thought she had a chance. Like, this is gonna be too easy. I haven't hit you since you were a child. She thought she was gonna play whack-a-mole and ended up with some moist pantaloons. <laughs> Screaming viciously in bathroom spray. <laughs> hey, what's going on? That guy waiting there like, I really have to pee, but can you please check in there? Oh, yo, what is happening in here? Not sure not tomorrow, dude. Yo. Can you please finish? Finish yeah. what? <laughs> Starts again. Get out. Get out. Get out. What's going on? Get out. Get out. Um, get out. You guys stole our fries here. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just getting out and then just standing in line like, okay, the screaming is done. All the anger is out. I'm ready for some fries. Oh, that is foul. You take a piece of tape, tape it on the faucet. Oh, and it's gonna just spray you. Imagine doing this at school. That's actually pretty good. You ready? What is that made of? Oh, human? it's like a fake snowman. Fits entire human. Stand up on your tippy toes. Oh, there's a head too. Excellent. Oh, he's angry. <gasps> Not a very nice fellow. I'd be scared too. He's mean looking. Mad all the snow melted. <laughs> Woo! I, I would have thought this was like a statue or something. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Chris Kringle? Pretend to sneeze on your sassy brother. Oh, this is good. I have never seen anyone do this. Oh, that was a wet one. With me? Are you effing with me? There is nothing less threatening than a British accent. I'm stroking wet. I don't know who this is. Why we're in a pandemic? Because of pigs like.
Oh, now you're gonna blame the whole pandemic on him. My time is spreading like a bushfire. Take yourself out and get out of here. Wait till he finds out it's water. Have you ever been wet sneezed on? When my dog does it all the time, I'd be sitting on the toilet with my bare knees and he'll just like <laughs> Beyblades let her rip. Stirred her water to see how she'd react. <laughs> and what did you put in it? I got you the water. <laughs> what? Why'd you mix it? What do you mean? It makes it, I don't know. I just always do that. It tastes better. No, you don't. You can drink it. Me mixing up my water. What did you put in it? Oh, my love and affection. I'll drink it, but you, you asked drink. me for water. Now you don't want it. I went all the I way to the I want to share kitchen. it with you. Why? Because sharing is caring, and I care about you so okay, much. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm, water. water. It's literally just water. Your turn. Drink more. <laughs> Do you not trust her? Right. You clearly do not trust her. It's literally just water. <laughs> Tastes like metal spoon. <gasps> no, don't do this. Don't do Whoa. this. Ah! <laughs> That's the last thing somebody wants to see come out of their pizza box. <laughs> no, no, thank you. The real prank is how hairy the pizza is gonna be, even when you take it off. It's really the string that gives it away. You know, if there was no string, I think it would have been greater damage. She took a fat spoonful of salt, pure iodized salt, dipped it into several drops of noodles. Oh, okay. Good thing you put the noodles on top of it. Can you try my noodles, please? You make noodles? Delicious. Today? Yeah, I did. Oh, I no. put some seasoning in it. I don't know. Oh, no. Is it good? Oh. It's really good? No. Do you don't like tell it? Her it's good. Ah, oh, this is deadly. His blood pressure finna go through the roof. Oh, you okay? Mm -hmm. You gotta be honest. Like, if your partner's cooking sucks, you gotta tell them. You gotta let them know so they can improve. Because they will never improve if you're like, yeah, this is great. When it sucks. That goes for everything. I only take criticism from people I trust. Y'all can't be lying like this. Not to hurt her feelings. Especially when you make in this face. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Forced every muscle in his body to allow him to swallow. <laughs> Wait, what? She tried to pour the soup, but it just... Oh, there's tape on it. <laughs> That's what you get for pouring me a tablespoon of soup. Like, what is that? You call that a serving size? Trying to keep me skinny? <gasps> right behind you in that exact same spot and it's really funny because now you're taking a picture there and you just so happen to be afraid of alligators i just thought it was a funny coincidence you know, i love messing with people that fall for everything you know it would be a shame if you just so happen to just spawn right now right behind you and just drag you down and be a little swamp queen wait for it and he got an air horn in the drive-thru no no they don't deserve this Stop it. <sighs> no. Why would you do that? Let me guess, he gonna ask for another one since she dropped it. I would have just tossed it in. <gasps> oh, I thought that was real for a second. Oh, it is real. I thought they taped up grandma. It's a child with a grandma mask taped up to the wall. Oh no. Yeah, she didn't even get a look at it. I feel like it would have been even worse if she actually saw what was behind the door. Oh no, not the bear, not the bear. I thought it was a teddy bear. It was so limp too. There was a child in there. Oh, now Barney. It's everybody's favorite purple dinosaur. Knocked his head off. <sighs> if I lived in this household, I would be living in constant fear. They put paint in there. Really? She didn't notice? Suddenly the mop water is blue? Uh-oh. What in five minute crafts is this? She's just trying to mop the floor. 
Then eyebrow prank on my boyfriend. Don't move. Bro, put pressure after you do it. It hurts. Uh, ow! What the? <laughs> okay, look. You look hella cute. Whoa! Oh! What the? <laughs> you made it hella thin. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You made it hella thin, bro. I look like I'm holding it down for my vato and la pinta. Oh, no, that's you not look funny now. No, you it's hella cute. thin. I look like a 90s female, bro. <laughs> this filter is way too real. L look at that. She barely even plucked anything. Also, guys, it's always so dramatic when you pluck their hair. Look, ow! Uh, ow! Try plucking half your eyebrow. I pluck half my eyebrow hair off several times a month. Steaming what vegetables with an uh, eye. How long am I supposed right? to do this for? I mean, they already want steam. Uh, steam the vegetables. You told me to steam the vegetables. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna lose it. What? Like, how long am I supposed to do it for? She about to discombobulate. What are you doing? You told me to steam the vegetables, Grandma. I did. Yes. Well, what? That's not the way you steam vegetables. What do you mean? I took the steamer and I'm steaming the vegetables. This is the steamer. Oh. But I mean, that's Grandma, also I didn't a know. steamer I'm that to he's using. Just help you out. I'm trying to help you get ready for dinner. Hold it. Are you serious? Is my grandson really this stupid? She didn't realize that this moment I have failed. I don't know what to say. I mean, maybe, maybe we should get you some help or maybe go back to school or something. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? Where did your mother go wrong? Your father? Where were they? My brother came home from college and surprised me. I thought he was an intruder. <laughs> Pure fear for a hot second before she even realized who it was. You got a ski mask on or something? Like a few moments of screaming with eye contact before she realized like, oh, it's you. I mean, some people scream like this on the daily after seeing their sibling's face. Gonna get myself a nice scoop of ice cream, put it in my bowl and what? Okay, usually my scoop doesn't make it that far to almost being put in the bowl. Like as soon as I like try to scoop it out, somehow the ice cream gods are like, nope, and it just goes flying. Why does it do that? Is there a scientific explanation behind this? Because I don't know. <laughs> There's, there's a spider. There's a spider. There's what's what's he doing? There's a spider. Oh no 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 no! You're not. You're not. I don't know where it went. It literally just flew. It's a spider that flies. What the heck? I'm not usually scared of bugs, but that, that spider literally flew. Um, I don't know where it went. Watch it just find its way on me somehow. Couldn't have gotten very far. Oh, this is, this has got, oh, I feel the frustration from this pic. You out of IHOP, you better dig into your pancakes and syrup, and then your fork slides right into the syrup. It's useless. And then you gotta sit there waiting for your waiter to come back, but they just brought your plate over and for the next four and a half minutes they're gonna be helping all their other tables and they gonna completely forget about you because they just gave you your food they think you're eating but instead of eating you're sitting there panicking trying to call the waiter over I need a new fork okay you know what this happens to be like on the regular but instead of it falling in the syrup it like falls on the ground somehow I don't know how it happens it'll just be like you know just chilling on the table and like I'll touch something and then the fork will go on the ground literally don't ask me how Y'all ever went on a scooter, picked it up, and then it just like <sniffs> karate chopped you in the ankle bone? This happened to me all my childhood. Every single time I would pick that monster up. And now I grew up with bad ankles. Ooh. It's okay, you're safe now. I haven't used the scooter in years. You never have to deal with that again. Ugh. It's like there are very few pains in this world on par with giving birth. And this is one of them. Which one hurts more, the shin or the ankle? Cause I took a few to my shin too and I felt like that hurt a lot. Cause that area bruises really bad. Comment below, which is worse. Y'all ever eat a juice? bag of Cheetos and get the crustiest, mustiest, Cheeto dustiest fingers and anything you touch gets infected. Your phone, your girlfriend's knee. Congratulations, you have Cheetoitis. Okay, that's just straight up gross. Ooh, okay, you know what? I feel this on a personal level, all right? When the tip of your charger breaks and you see the little wires inside, it's like this happens with the Apple chargers. It's all part of their master plan so that you buy more. Oh, wait, look. Literally mine right now and every single other Apple charger I own. You disappoint your whole family. Actually, does it though? Because its whole generation is just broken. It's living up to the family name. Don't you just love sitting in class, minding your own business, doing your homework, and then you look up 
when you see this. Ugh! Get that away from me. You know, I don't know why teachers always gotta have their booty in someone's face when they bend over. This is the classroom, not the bedroom. But you know, sometimes there's just not enough space to bend over in the classroom while they're helping another student and you have the misfortune of getting a face full of booty. I mean, as long as they don't let one rip while they're doing it, then it might be acceptable. This used to happen to me all the time when I would try to use my roll of tape and it wouldn't give me the whole roll. It would give me like a little sliver and I would have to like unroll it at an angle so I could get the whole thickness of the roll. Y'all know what I'm talking about? When you just take that little piece and then you pull it off to the side. This was annoying. Like this was actually very annoying. I can't tell you how many times I've been very frustrated doing this. Please don't pull. You're telling me I'm not allowed to pull these? You know when you get like the little ingrown skin right here on your thumb? You're telling me not to pull them? What? But they hurt and I hate them. And they're so annoying. I don't know what causes them. I don't know where they come from. I don't know what demon spawned inside my nail bed to make such a dastardly thing. Also, you know, the best, the best part is when you try to do it and you absolutely can't pull it. Like no matter what you do. And then you have to wait till you go home and get the tweezers and pull it out. But sometimes it's too short for even the tweezers. <sighs> this video is getting very stressful. Try not to get stress challenged. Security question. What is your father's middle name? Answer, Paul. Enter and answer at least five characters. But his middle name is Paul. Enter and answer that is at least five characters. What do you want me to do? Paul with two U's? Oh, you know what's even better than this? Logs in using username and password. Password incorrect. Okay, forgot password. Enter new password. Cannot use a previous password. Bruh. Ooh, if I had a penny. Every single time this happened to me and I had to reset my password. And then when I reset it, it ends up being the same password that I had. This makes no sense. Please fix. <laughs> okay, see, this is why I haven't upgraded my laptop. I've had the same laptop for like four years now and I refuse to get the new one because they don't have USB ports in them. How you gonna make a laptop with no USB ports? Okay, so Mac laptop, the new ones, they've been doing just thunder port. Thunder bolts? Thunder ports? I don't know, it's not a USB. And if you wanna use a USB, you have to get this adapter to use your USB. Absolutely sickening. Like this takes up so much much space. The new ones don't even have like an SD card reader. Why would you downgrade so much? I don't know. I don't like those. I'm pretty sure they're called Thunderbolt, but I'm I'm not sure. That's how irrelevant they are. Oh, I felt that. Stubbing your toe on a corner. Okay, this has got to be one of the worst ones. Oh, when her toe said this, I felt that. This hurts my poor pinky toe just looking at this. I always hit my pinky toe. It's like it's so small. I have an abnormally small pinky toe. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's pretty small. Like every time I go get my nails done, they always look at my pinky toe. They'd be like, you're so tiny. And I'll be like, yeah, paint my nail and move on, okay? I can only think of few things in this world that are worse than this. Oh, hitting your hip. I don't know if this is a thick girl problem or just an everyone problem, but just hitting your hip on the table, on the counter, just basically any sharp edge that comes up to like your hip. No, actually I had this problem when I was a kid too. Like my hip are forever bruised. Like I will always, always, always hit them on something and then the bruise will heal and then I'll hit it again. And it's just a never ending cycle of bruised hips. It's funny because it's not even just my hips or my toes. It's literally my whole body. Like I always have these random bruises that I have no idea where they came from, but I'm really clumsy. Like I will hit into anything. I could be walking and there's a pole like a few feet to my left and I'll just suddenly like walk straight and then somehow walk into it. I don't know. I just suck at being aware. <laughs> Don't you just love when you try to pour a drink into another cup and the liquid is like, nope. I belong in this cup and this cup only. You'll never take me alive. So you actually, when you do that, you gotta go ham and like pour it at like a higher angle. Cause if you pour it like this, it's gonna go through the side. But if you pour it like this, then it won't do that. Or it'll only do it for a little bit. You plug in your USB drive. Computer's like, nope. So you flip it over. Nope, flip it over again. Yes, there you go. Why you gotta do that? Why doesn't it just go in normally the first time? It's got two sides, but you gotta do it three times to get it right. USB be drives like, no, don't put me in there. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't be laughing because this is me. This is literally what my desktop looks like right now And anybody who comes over and sees my desktop and they're like you gonna clean that up I 
feel like there are two kinds of people in this world. Ones with nothing on their desktop and ones who have literally everything on their desktop. Oh, actually three people because I have everything on my desktop but I never use or click on anything on my desktop. It's just there. I don't know because I save everything to my desktop and it just, surprise, ends up on my desktop. It's really ugly and I wish I wasn't like this but unfortunately it's just the kind of person I am. My desktop is an accurate representation of my life. A mess. <laughs> What kind of person are you? Comment below. Don't you just love when you rip out a piece of paper and you know, cause when you turn in your homework, you can't turn in all the squigglies on the side. But have no fear, there's a nice little dotted line where you can rip the squigglies off the side. So the dotted line never actually does it perfectly. Like it always has to rip. I don't know why. Why is this so poorly made? We've been using this for years now. You would think they would have perfected this dotted line, but no. Here's to 20 more years of struggling to cut on the dotted line. You know, when you walk in and then you feel something gross on the heel of your shoe. And then you look at your shoe when it's a rock stuck in your sneaker. And then you gotta use your finger to touch it and take it out. Ugh. I mean, I hate doing this, but it's like something you gotta do no matter how filthy. But this is annoying. Or I don't know if it's just where I live, but if you're walking with like sandals, especially rubber ones, they're like these spiky things on the floor in the desert here and then you step on them and it's like stepping on needles like they'll go through your shoe and they're so hard to get out it's like having like imagine a mini tiny cactus yay big and a bunch of them like sticking to the bottom of your shoe is not fun the parents of this boy booked a window seat for his first flight however a window he did not get could I get an F in the chat for poor Billy over here all he wanted was a window seat father you promised me a window seat what is this where is the window? He got nothing but airplane wall. You know, that's really unfortunate because it's like only one seat on the whole airplane. Doesn't have a window. You know, some have two windows. But he just ended up with no window. His face like, Father, how could you? All I wanted to do was see the clouds in my city from above. This is such a horrible experience. I'm sure somebody would have switched with him though. Like, let Billy see his aerial view of his school. I'm the type of person on a plane, I always shut the window. I don't even look through it. I mean, unless the clouds are like extra fluffy. But otherwise, I just try to sleep and I never get to sleep because I need a bed to sleep, but I still try. My receipt for buying one bottle of vegetable oil at CVS. 100 pound dog for scale. Okay, I heard about this. CVS, you buy one thing and then they print out like a 10 foot long receipt because y'all love wasting paper. What's the point? I feel like they should just completely get rid of receipts and just have it like an electronic receipt like everywhere. I hate having receipts. I don't know what to do with them. Sometimes I throw them out. Sometimes I keep them. Sometimes I'm not sure if I should keep them. And when I need one, I definitely threw it out. So. Hello government, please fix this receipt issue. Thank you. The amount of unnecessary packaging for one tablet is infuriating. Ooh, this at the gas station or when you buy it at like a convenience store or something. So for one pill, one Tylenol, and one allergy medication or whatever, whatever you're trying to buy, they have it in a little plastic pouch and then inside it there is a baby package with only one pill. That's all you get for the low price of $2.99. This is not necessary. What happened to the good old days where you could just go to the cashier and they just pop one into your finger and you just delicious. My sinuses are cleared. When you try to dip your cookie in milk and the cookie is too big to dip. This is the saddest story I ever heard. You know, when this happens, you just like cut the cookie in half and then dip one side and then dip the other side. Easy peasy. Don't you just love when you staple the corner of a paper and the stapler's like, nope, stapler machine broke. It like doesn't staple all the way or it does this ugly thing that doesn't actually hold the papers together. I love when I put my favorite mug in the dishwasher and it comes out broke. Wow, quality. I feel like this bug is like on me somehow. Like every time I get an itch, I, I, I just feel like something's crawling on me. I'm dehydrated. Oh look, a water fountain. And then you press the button and the weakest stream of water comes through. It's like you are this close, this close from getting E. coli. You know, when it's that close, I don't even do it. No matter how thirsty I am, if it doesn't shoot at least this much, then I don't even bother. I'm like, nah, I ain't even risking it.